everyone, welcome to NSO at Home Live, a concert series created by the musicians of the National Symphony Orchestra. My name is Marissa Regney. I'm the principal second violin of the National Symphony. I'll be your host tonight and every Sunday night as we bring live music into your homes and hopefully into your hearts. Tonight, we feature the Bonsoir Ensemble. They are a trio comprised of two members of the National Symphony, NSO violist Ruth Wicker, NSO flutist Carol Bean, and the third member of the trio is harpist Michelle Myers Lundy. They're so terrific. We're gonna be joining them in just a second. Also tonight, we are joined by youth fellowship student, Audrey Goodner, she plays the violin. She's such a delightful young lady, cannot wait to hear her play. We'll be joining her in a little while. So we're gonna start things off with the Bonsoir Ensemble. They're gonna be playing a trio by Carl Philipp Emanuel Bach. He is one of Johann Sebastian Bach's many children and a very successful composer. Um, this trio was originally written for violin, flute, and keyboard, and it has been brilliantly arranged for this configuration, viola, flute, and harp, by NSO bassist Alex Jacobson. So let's head over now to the Bonsoir Ensemble for some CPE Bach.
Wow, ladies, thank you so much. So beautiful. What a soothing way to start the evening. Thank you so much. We're going to be back with them in just a little while for some more terrific music. First, I want to remind you, you can follow us on our social media platforms. We are on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Now on Facebook, you can find us as NSO Musicians. Same for YouTube, we are NSO Musicians. And on Instagram, we are NSO underscore Musicians. Please check us out. We are always posting new content all the time. So it would be great if you would follow us, subscribe to us, and like us. Thanks for doing that. All right, so we are now ready to feature our Youth Fellowship Program student. I love this segment of our show. We've been doing this since the summer and we've been sort of showcasing these amazing teenagers that are part of our Youth Fellowship Program. This is for high school age students and they get to study with members of the National Symphony Orchestra. They also get to play chamber music with each other and perform at the Kennedy Center. And from time to time, they will observe our orchestra rehearsals and sometimes they get to sit in with us side by side and play along with us, which is always great. And all along these kids have just been so inspiring and great to get to know and just incredible to hear. So tonight is no exception. We have Audrey Goodner. She is a terrific violinist and she is currently in our youth fellowship program studying with NSO violinist Jing Chow. So we thought we would bring Jing on now to talk about her work with Audrey. So welcome to the show, Jing Chow. Hi, hi everyone. Oh, hello, Jing. It's so good to see you. So good to see you. It has been too long. It has been a year, right? Yep. Almost yep. a year since we have seen each other. Mm -hmm. You look great. Thank you. <laughs> so do you. <laughs> so thank you. I understand this is your first year teaching in our youth fellowship program. Correct. Yeah. You picked a doozy of a year to start. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> but I know Audrey's been great to work with. Can you tell us a little bit about your virtual experience with her? <laughs> Um, Audrey is a great student. She loves music and she's very committed and she spent a lot of time to practice and mm -hmm. she's just a quick learner. It's, it's been a pleasure to working with her and thanks to the fellowship program, uh, let me have a chance to work with a young, talented musician. It's just quite a pleasure. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they've just been so inspiring. I, I listen to them. It makes me want to practice more. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. And she's so lucky to be working with you. You're such thank you. a terrific presence in the orchestra and such a thank fabulous you. violinist. So thank you for all that you have been doing. And so let's bring Audrey on now and get to chat with her a little bit. Welcome to the show, Audrey Goodner. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Audrey. Hello. You look so lovely. I love it. You <laughs> Thank you. Vibrant. So I understand this. So this is your second year in the program. Correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So your first year, you were, um, you know, not virtual. Yes. <laughs> right. Right. And you are a freshman in high school. Is that right? Yes, I am. Yeah. Shout out to your high school in case anybody's watching from there. Langley High School. It's Langley High School. Okay. Fantastic. Now, I know this has been a strange year. You've been doing everything virtually, right? High school lessons. Have you been doing orchestra virtually as well? Yes, I have. Yeah, that's got to be a bit of a challenge, but maybe just, you know, it's new, unique. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But what do you do on your downtime when you're not playing the violin? I've been studying a lot of piano and I go with my dog and walk every day. Uh, see, that is one of the silver linings of all this is we get to spend more times outdoors. So that is nice. Yeah. Well, you are so great. And also, I know you and your family are usual concert goers and you always sit up at the front and we miss seeing you. We cannot wait to come back and have you down in the front <laughs> to see your lovely family. So we're very excited about that. But we are even more excited right now to hear you play. And I know you need to switch your mic over to do that. But thank you, Jane, for coming on. And Audrey, I'm going to let you switch your mic while she does that. Um, I'm going to tell you all that if you are interested in this youth fellowship program or you know anybody that might be, please just Google us. You, you type into your search engine NSO Youth Fellowship Program and a link, little link will pop up that you can click on. So please do that and see all that we have to offer. It really, like I say, is such a great program and these kids have been so terrific all along. Also, if you are interested in donating to the National Symphony, you can do so by going to kennedy-center.org slash 
support and SO. Any money you give is 100% tax deductible. It would sure mean the world to us. So we are going to head back now to Audrey. She is going to be playing the first Caprice by the Italian violinist and composer, and he was a violin virtuoso. To say he was just a violinist is understatement of the air. He was a violin virtuoso, and these Caprices are just incredible uh, exercises of just bravado and just amazing pieces. So she's going to be playing her first Caprice by Niccolo Paganini. Here is Audrey Goodner. more. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That was so great. I know we're going to hear great things from Audrey in the years to come. So thrilled. She is a part of our program. So once again, if you're interested or you know anyone that's interested in being in our program and sitting alongside people like Audrey all the time, how fabulous would that be? Just please Google us, NSO Youth Fellowship Program, and you Google us, a little link will pop up that you can click on. Thanks again to Audrey and for Jing for coming on and for working with her. All right, right now we're going to head over to Alex Jacobson. As I mentioned earlier, our first piece tonight was arranged by Alex. He is a bass player in the National Symphony Orchestra, and he's also the composer of the next couple of pieces you're going to hear our trio playing. So we thought it would be fun to catch up with Alex a little bit and ask him about uh, composing and writing for these instruments. So welcome to the show, Alex Jacobson. Hi, Marissa. Nice to be here. Hello. So great to have you on. Thank you. <laughs> so I also have to tell our audience, if you watched our holiday special, all of those uh, songs that were arranged for the sing-along were all arranged by Alex. And also you have been undertaking this great project this year for our board members of the symphony. Can you tell everyone a little bit about your sure. board, NSO board member project? <laughs> yeah, so back in April, um, I started uh, uh, doing little arrangements of happy birthday for all of our board members, um, just as a way to stay in touch since you know everything was completely derailed at that point. Um, and so this is, it was a great way to stay not only in touch with the board, uh, which is you know our biggest supporters, but also a way for me to keep in touch with my fabulous colleagues as well. So it was, you know, very, very much a win-win for me. Yeah, they're super fun. You, you write them usually for like a trio of instruments and we record our parts and every single arrangement is completely different than the last one. They're like different styles. We played like swing styles and sambas and waltzes and it's just incredible. I love it. It's so much fun. So that begs the question, now, did you study composition formally or no? 
Uh, I did not. Um, I've always been interested in composition, but um, I, you know, just pretty much paid attention in harmony class and used a lot of my free time to you know research orchestration and things like that. Um, I just you know I not only enjoy playing music, but I enjoy understanding how it why it works as well as that it works. Yeah, and I imagine maybe arranging for the harp might be kind of difficult, right? It's not always so easy to take a piano part and just put it in the harp. <laughs> yeah, a harp is a, a very, you know, it's a very beautiful instrument, but it's also, it has a lot of uh, limitations. It's really hard to play chromatic stuff really quickly. Um, it's really hard to repeat notes really quickly. Um, and so that first piece that you heard um, uh, with the harp playing basically a piano part, I uh, had to take a lot of notes out without um, affecting the sort of trajectory of the piece, if that makes sense. Um, but that's that's the essential problem with harps. It's uh, you have to be very careful with them. Yeah, <laughs> they've got a lot of moving parts with the pedals and the all the yes. stuff. Yeah, yes, yeah, absolutely. Well, it was a beautiful arrangement. So, Thank you. and the next piece they're going to play was written by you. Da, 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 da. <laughs> yes. So, did they come to you and say, "Alex, write us a piece"? Yeah, they did. Um, I, I had arranged a couple things for them last year. First of all, Beausoir Ensemble is amazing, uh, and it's a real pleasure to write for them. Um, but yeah, they, they asked me if I was interested in writing an original piece, and I was, I was very excited that anyone was interested in me writing an original piece for them. Um, and so, so yeah, that's, that's what I did. Um, over this last year, I was finally able to complete it, um, and uh, it's about to be performed, and I'm really excited. Yeah, me too. So tell us a little bit about the two movements, the two pieces they're going to play. Right. So uh, the first piece is an arabesque, uh, which is uh, very uh, strongly influenced by Debussy's uh, famous arabesque um, in A major, uh, arabesque number one. Um, so there's a lot of arpeggios. Um, the bass uh, moves uh, sort of stepwise motion instead of like the normal uh, harmony that you might you might hear in a more normal classical piece. Um, and uh, the second piece, uh, the trio, uh, or the, the rondo, excuse me, is uh, based on the Fibonacci sequence. Um, uh -huh. And if, if people know what that is, uh, it's one, one, two, three, five, eight, et cetera, et cetera. And you'll notice that the phrase lengths in all of the A sections, um, they, it's basically a five bar phrase that restarts um, at one bar, one bar, two bar, three bar, and five bar. Um, wow. So you can count throughout the, every time you hear that theme, that's the form that it takes. Yeah, cool. A little mathematics thrown in there. I love it. Well, we cannot wait to hear it. Thank you so much, Alex, for all you have done for the orchestra during this one year of strangeness. It's just been, you've been so amazing helping us in so many ways and cannot wait to hear this piece. So without further ado, let's head over to the Bonsoir Ensemble and they're gonna be playing the Arabesque and the Rondo by Alex Jacobson.
was so great. And thanks to Alex for writing such a delightful couple of pieces for our trio. Hey, we will be back next Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern. And next Sunday is our doo -doo -doo -doo, Valentine's Day special. Wait, I don't know. <laughs> we will be featuring married couples from the National Symphony Orchestra and the Kennedy Center Opera House Orchestra. Love is in the air. So come, please celebrate Valentine's Day with us next Sunday at 7. We also have a terrific youth fellowship program student joining us next Sunday. Her name is Angela Zhang and she plays the piano. So Sunday, 7 p.m., Valentine's Day. Please watch us. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go back to our trio really quickly and have a chit chat with them before they play their last piece of music for the night. So let's head back to Ruth, Carol, and Michelle. Hello. <laughs> So good to see you guys. <laughs> well, I was um, going to tell so you good about. To see Ruth, it's your first time on the show. Carol, it's your third time on the show. Michelle, it's your second time on the show. So thank you all for being with us here this evening. And we have loved listening to you and your just amazing music so far. And you've one last piece of music for us with a, a very intriguing title, Cruising with the Top Down. So can you tell us a little bit about this piece you're about to play? Well, Cruising with the Top Down is um, a, a really delightful piece with jazz and blues woven together and a little bit of a jazz, a Latin feel combined with it. And um, all of the instruments kind of take their turns for a feature in this piece. It was written by composer Sonny Burnett, and he's the former professor and music department chair at Georgetown College in Kentucky. He's written a number of works for flute, flute ensembles, saxophones, string trios, and many other compositions. And um, Michelle and I shared the distinction with Sonny Burnett of attending Northwestern University, where Sonny st studied with the esteemed Fred Hemke, the um, saxophone teacher. And um, we have really loved working on this piece. And as I'm playing it, um, I'm imagining an old car, maybe like the ones in Cuba that hopefully are still there, that um, is bright red with a big white convertible top that comes down. Awesome. Well, I, I love that, um, especially because today it was snowing in DC. So I love the idea of, of riding around in a convertible. So we're going to imagine that as they play this next piece of music, which incidentally was written originally for flute, viola, and harp. So Alex did not have to do any arranging on this next piece of music. And as they get ready to play that, I want to remind you once again, if you would like to donate to the National Symphony Orchestra, you can go to kennedy-center.org slash support NSO. And any money you give is 100% tax deductible. As I mentioned earlier with Jing, we haven't seen each other in a year because the orchestra has not been able to play any live concerts for any ticket goers for almost an entire year now. So um, any money you can give would, of course, mean the world to us during these hard times for the arts. All right, let's head back now. I feel the summer breeze already. Let's hear Cruisin' with the, with the top down with the Bonsoir Ensemble.
bravo ladies so great i love it i feel like i've been in a convertible <laughs> So that is it for us this evening. I, of course, want to thank Ruth, Carol, Michelle, and Audrey for giving us such wonderful music, fabulous performances tonight. And I want to thank Jing and Alex for being on as well and talking to us about their teaching and the music that they write. So, of course, next week we will be back, just a reminder, with our Valentine's special featuring married couples from the National Symphony Orchestra and the Kennedy Center Opera House Orchestra and Youth Fellowship student Angela Zhang will be joining us on the piano. So please join us for that. As usual, I wanna thank our wonderful producers, Bob Reardon, Jamie Roberts, and Dave Murray. I wanna thank Thomas Baker, who does all the artwork for us on this series. I wanna thank Sophie Edwards, who helps me with all of the tech needs on my end of the show. And of course, we wanna thank all of you for joining us week in and week out and supporting our little endeavor here. This is our 41st show. I cannot believe it. So we hope to see you next week for Valentine's Day. In the meantime, please stay safe and stay healthy.